Well, good morning. Back on Air Wagner, 23rd of November, 2024. You're probably saying to yourself, look at this guy. He doesn't put a video up for a month, and then we get two in a row. So yesterday was the old atmospheric river. Today is all the moisture left behind. You can see the sun here, but you're going to see um, in and out of the clouds in the rain. It should be one of those nice-looking uh, front camera views going in and out. Let's get the information see what's happening here. Hazardous weather information for California available on flight service frequency. No doubt. Runway 30, 28 right, 28 left, 33. Condition code 555 at 0618. Caution, first near airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information delta. Okay, information delta. ATS information delta. 1653 Zulu. Wind 160 at 12. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 700. 1500 scattered. Ceiling 5000 rows. Temperature 14. Clarence, good morning. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet IFR Auburn. Ready to copy Clarence, and we have Delta. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet Oakland Clarence, thanks for Delta. You're cleared to the Auburn Airport to view the Nimitz 5 departure vectors to join Victor 6. Sacramento VR, then direct. Climb maintain 3,000. Expect 5,000. Five minutes after departure. That'll be your final. Departure frequency 120.9er, squawk 4542. Okay, 513 Sierra Joe, it's clear to the Auburn Airport. And that would be Nimitz 5, radar vectors of Victor 6, Sacramento Direct, 3,000, 5,000 in uh, five minutes. That'll be a final 120.9er, 4542 on the squawk. Sparing 287 wells up at 04 past the hour. Number 3, Sierra Joe, Sierra Joe. Yeah, November 3, Sierra Juliet. Read back is correct. Contact ground point at one ready. Say your parking. 3, Sierra Juliet. Port of Port. We'll talk to ground. Let them know we're ready. Bye. Okay. Ground, uh, good morning. Golden Eagle 513, Sierra Juliet. Taxi IFR Delta. Port of Port. To it right. Golden Eagle 513, Sierra Juliet. Welcome ground. Runway to it right. Taxi via Delta Charlie Bravo. Delta Charlie Bravo. 513, Sierra Juliet. Hey, there's a nice look on the rainbow to the right. Round, uh, Let's take a look uh, at it before I turn the other way. Uh, right, uh, left There's your rainbow. Right approach it, Alpha. November 4, Sierra Golf, affirmative, cross to it right at Alpha, and then turn left onto Bravo. Okay, cross it. Uh, okay, right I didn't bring sunglasses because it was overcast right yesterday. I have a spare pair here I might use, but for right four, now. Sierra, left turn on Bravo. Yeah, we can do that too. Left turn on Bravo, thanks. All right, so let's get going. His set up while we're going. So the Nimitz 5, so let's put in the, uh, I can taxi and look outside at the same time. Oakland, load procedure, departure, Nimitz 5, runway 28 right, Sacramento, load departure. We'll put the Oakland VOR here. Let's check it, make sure we got the Oakland VOR. Ground, flex jet 335, Delta, signature taxi. Okay, that's it. So for backup, we're going to put a course here of 022 for Victor 6. And we're back to GPS. Uh, the call center is Flagship 335. And could the Mrs. Air Wagner please hand me the truck list? Charlie Bravo, hold short runway 28 right. Charlie Bravo, hold short 28 right, Flagship 335. Okay, let's do the checklist. Tower 4, uh, 513 Sierra Juliet's ready, IFR 28 right. All port checklist complete. Runway 28 right, clear for the option, uh, 68459. Gold Legal 513 Sierra Juliet Oakland Tower, win 14013, runway 28 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 28 right, 513 Sierra Juliet on the roll. Okay, boost pumps on. Power 459 has come from your number one. Cessna 459 affirmative, number one, runway 28 right, cleared for the option. Traffic to follow is a caravan on a 5 Time nine. check. Transponder check. Number one. Traffic. Uh, runway 28 right, clear for the option. 68459. Okay, 315 heading. First, we need fuel flow. Are we abort? Fuel flow, good. Airspeed alive, 60. 
Cessna turning base 1000. 80. Look in Pack Valley 8971. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 95. A little bit of back pressure. Tap the brakes. Put the glare out. Yeah, there's a there's a big rainbow. Can't quite see it yet, but you will on the turnout. There's our 315. Tower 3 Sierra Juliet uh, going through 500. Take a second and uh, check out the rainbow to the north. Golden Eagle 3 Sierra, it's really pretty. I think it's a double rainbow, too. Contact North Color Parts here today. Gordon NorCal 3 Sierra Juliet. 2003 North Cal Departure Radar Contact. NorCal, good morning. Golden Eagle 5 and 3 Sierra Juliet checking on, leaving 1100 315 for 3000. Exit get 341, contact the Oakland Center, Mama 9075. See you later. November 513 Sierra Juliet, NorCal Departure Radar Contact, Climate Team 4000. 4000, 3 Sierra Juliet. November 3 Sierra Juliet, there's an area of light to moderate precipitation, 12 o'clock, 4 miles, area of precipitation, 3 to 5 miles in diameter. 3 Sierra Juliet, uh, Roger, we concur. November 4th Sierra November. All right, let's put the radar on. 12585, just let them know where you're headed. Okay, was that 125.85 for 4 Sierra November? November 4th Sierra November, affirmative 2585. 2585, thanks for your help. Good day, 4 Sierra November. Frontier Flight 4000, contact Oakland Center, Walmart. Well, we're going to be in and out of it, that's for that's sure. Frontier Flight 4000, so long. No need to have a lot of power in today because. We have a tailwind. Okay, we're leaving 2,500 for 4,000 in this stuff. I am going to grab my backup sunglasses. What's the outside air? 45? Here, do it. Climbing team 5,000, one able direct section of the UR. If you want to continue on your present heading, it'll take you out, on the, out of the weather a little bit more, but... Uh, back to Auburn, it's, you're going to go back in it. 3 Sierra Juliet, we flew yesterday, so no problem. Heading for the VOR, uh, SAC VOR, and 5000, 3 Sierra Juliet. November 3 Sierra Juliet, Roger, just let me know if you need anything. 3 Sierra Juliet, Roger, you'd be the first to know. Okay, so we're heading for the VOR and 5000, going into the weather. Now we don't need the glasses. And here comes the rain and the bumps. Oh, it's getting dark, huh? Jeez, it got really dark. Oh, look at that uh, little bit of yellow here. We're going to be flying through. Skywest 5547, 1200 climbing via the U truck and two. Skywest 5547, on call departure radar contact. All right, there's 4,500 coming up. Let's go ahead and set the altitude at 5,000. We'll double it up. Ooh, there's some hard rain. Ooh, that's some really hard rain. All right, here's our level off at 5,000. Tailwind of 13. So all that practice we did, uh, VFR, IFR, uh, this is paying off today. Number three, Sierra Juliet, contact Travis Approach, 119.9. Have a good day. 199 for Travis, three, Sierra Juliet. Thanks, and you do the same. So long. Travis, uh, good morning. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet. Checking on 5000. 513 Sierra Juliet. Travis Approach. Altimeter is 2996. Verify direct Sacramento Vortex. 2996. Direct Sacramento at this time. 513 Sierra Juliet. 5000. Thanks. So uh, look out the front window. Uh, what do you see? A rain. I don't know if you can hear it through the headsets, but it's hammering the windows. Well, Robert, you don't have to worry about cleaning the bugs off today. We're pretty much straight and level now. Go ahead. Why don't we take a trip around the G600 as I like to do? It's 10.02 in the morning. We're on GPSS. 32 degrees there. That would be freezing. Tailwind of 15, crosswind of 13 with an overall wind of 20 coming from the west. True airspeed 184 here at 5,000. Turn left heading 0901, able direct uh, wind and then a flop. 172 uh, indicated on the knots, 196 on the ground speed, heading for SAC. 41 miles, 029029. We're 5,000, 299 or 6, straight and level.
Here you can see the weather we're up against. Uh, this is next rad, which is five minutes old. Might have taken five minutes to prepare, so it could be, uh, you know, ten minutes old, which means that it's moving. I think it's just moving. We're we're just moving with it. For power settings, we're back power back a little bit because we got a tailwind. Thirty-two inches of manifold pressure. Eighteen hundred on the RPM. Twenty-three. Uh, gallons an hour, 22, 23 and 22 gallons an hour, and 1535, 1550 on the TITs, turbo inlet temperatures. That's your uh, G600 and all the stuff that's with it. November 513, Sierra Joliet, just be advised here in about five miles, you'll be entering a area of light to moderate precipitation for about the next two zero miles until the Sacramento Vortex. Three zero, Juliet, Roger. We're painting out here on board, also. Roger. And, uh, uh, a C-130, about six miles north northeast of your position, just reported moderate rain around 5,000. Three zero, Juliet, Roger. Thanks. Okay, moderate rain. That's probably these two red cells here. They're not red. They're orange. I turned the uh, weather off on the iPad. It was bothering me for the. Uh, Airways, but let me turn it back on. Bingo. Okay, so there you can see it. Yeah, look at this. This look at this, Nancy. Here's our yellow. We're just following the yellow. Thought it'd be a nice day today. All right, we added Auburn here. So we're 20 minutes out. We've been in the air nine minutes because of the tailwind showing 204 knots, we're going to be uh, pretty quick time. Now, let's get ahead of ourselves and take Auburn. Let's look at the weather first, see what it is now. It changes. What happens this time of year, the weather just kind of uh, lingers in the foothills, and you end up having uh, rapidly changing conditions. Right now, Auburn, wind 160 at 9, or visibility 7, scattered 600, broken 3,500, overclass 4,400. So it changes a lot. This morning it was below minimum 200. And uh, I'm showing sure about the next two to three miles you should be entering that area of precipitation advice if you need any deviations. 513, Sierra Juliet, uh, I'll let you know. We flew down yesterday, so uh, we're well experienced for this. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Not that that means that you can fly through stuff, but it's not convective, so I'm not that concerned. And the wife will love it. Uh, what else was I going to say? I was talking about Auburn. So now, okay, so we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take Auburn, we're going to load the approach. Load procedure, instrument approach, they only got one. Uh, RNAV runway 7. And then the vectors are going to be, if you put in Rossi, it keeps Rossi, Sitsky, uh, and, and Yadfi. If you don't, it just says Sitsky, maybe a procedure turn. So we're going to load the approach now. All right, now, since we're sitting here with nothing to do except wait, load the approach, brief the approach plate. You know it well, but you brief it anyway. All right, here it is here. Let's zoom in on it. Start from the top, use gravity. All right, inbound course 068, 070 is a runway, might as well be 070. You can't circle 25 at night. Missed approach, climb to 5000, direct at B, turn left to track 311. So we'll put our heading bug on 311, and then we're going hold. Uh, down here, the usual suspects. Here's that Rossi I mentioned down here. Fiscu and Yadvi crossings are 3,000. And let's just double check that. Crossings 3,000. Minimums. So if you're straight in, 1848. If you're circling in the class Bravo, 2400. So let's double check what the wind was because I don't remember what it was. Waypoint was, yeah, wind was a 160 at, at 9, so it's it's not, uh, 90 degrees. So we're going to go for the 1848 right now. So we're going to hit menu, set minimums, 
one, eight, four, eight. And it pops up here. Okay, and then uh, went on inbound course, activate vectors as final, and then arm the approach. So that's all we're doing right now. And put the map back up. We're direct to SAC. We're going to get 25-25 uh, next. The things are all the same. And we're just flying through the weather. Nancy, you didn't expect this weather today, did you? I knew it was going to start raining at about 11, but uh, well, changed its mind. We're in the we're in the slop. 25.25, great day, see you. 25.25, you did the same. Uh, talk to you later, 3, Sarah Joy. Finger, and turn on the RNAV, runway 22 left approach. This is going to maintain 8,000. Might be doing two frequencies. And I said Whiskey Charlie maintain 8,000. All right, so he answered her. I can't hear it. NorCal, good morning, Golden Eagle 5 and 3, Sierra Julie, checking on 5,000. So here we're painting some red here. One three heavy contact, Oakland Center, one two five point eight five today. That's that cell right there, most likely. Can't look outside. One three Sierra Julie at NorCal approach. I'm sorry, I was online coordinating. Uh, thinking your altitude, Sacramento altimeter two nine nine or seven. Three Sierra Julie, checking on level 5,000, heading for the VOR. Golden Eagle 3 here, Julie Roger, advised uh, one minute weather at Auburn and approach your left. Okay, we'll get the weather, and we'd like the RNAV runway 7 uh, and starting at Rossi, if that's available for 513 here, Julie. November 3 here, Juliet Roger, actually fly present heading, initial vector Rossi, and you can expect that RNAV approach here. Five full stop landing. Full stop on Auburn, we'll uh, keep this heading and get the weather and call you back. 3 here, Juliet. Roger. Okay, so now she's... I'm sure you're aware. You're in uh, light to moderate precipitation. Expect to be in it uh, pretty much until you get to Sitsu, and then between Sitsu and Auburn, it doesn't show any precipitation. Uh, 3 Sierra Julie, Roger. Changes by the minute. Uh, we're aware. Thanks very much. Okay, let's check the... Altimeter, 2-9-er, 9-er, 6. Auburn Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, one, eight, one, one, Zulu, wind, one, six, zero, at niner, knot, peak gust, one, four, knot. Oh, shoot, another crosswind. Seven. Sky condition, scattered, at 700, broken, at 4,500, overcast, at niner, thousand, temperature, one, zero, Celsius, two point, niner, Celsius, altimeter. Delta 1367, expect to be in light to moderate precipitation for the next one, five miles. All right, so she said present heading, so we're going to take it off of GPSS, put heading on, and then she said this will be an initial vector to Rossi, so we're going to see what direct Rossi is. Delta 1367, uh, it's two degrees different, so. Boy, is there a lot of water down there? Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of water down there. Oh. Norcal 3, Sierra Juliet, uh, we have one minute weather at uh, at uh, Auburn. Do you want me to go 27-4 so I can hear you talking to other people? Number 3, Sierra Juliet, that would be great. Thank you. Change my frequency, 127.4, and when able to proceed direct to Rossi now. 3, Sierra Juliet, 27-4, uh, direct Rossi, uh, with you now. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go direct Rossi. Switch it back to uh, GPSS. She's going to give us 4, then 3,000. The 3,000 is a crossing. After Rossi. Boy, if you if you were to draw a line between Oakland, it, it would draw a line into the weather. It would be a line from Oakland to Auburn. But look at the good news: we got 12 knot tailwind. Tundra and Whiskey Charlie just said to maintain 5,000. 5,000 for uh, a word. There's a cell right on our course, right here, 20 miles away. I have them. Rossi is how far? Rossi is 26 miles away. So we're going to get hammered just before Rossi in the turn. Rossi is the intersection right above the Sutter Roseville Hospital. All right, first, we're going to get Papa Gump early. Uh, pressurization is set at uh, Auburn's elevation plus 500. Air conditioner off, prop sink off. 
uh, auxiliary pumps on, gas on main. So that's your PAPA. So look at this uh, camera here. You can see what our course is intended on this approach is you're going to Rossi and then left turn over Siskiyou and then Yadfi and then Opera. With a crosswind of 9 gusting to 19, sounds exactly what we had the other day. So we're, we're six minutes from Rossi. Do I need to remind her that she needs to give me the join the approach course at Rossi? I'll give it to two minutes, and then if she doesn't say something, I'll remind her. Four minutes to Rossi. Building 03 Sierra Juliet, descend and maintain 3,000. 3,000, 3 Sierra Juliet. All right, she didn't forget me. All right, we don't want to get into the yellow. The yellow arc on the airspeed indicator is for smooth air only. So I, I anticipate another jolt here, so I'm going to put the speed brakes on. That will slow us down and allow us to descend at the same pace, but not be in the yellow arc. Golden Eagle 3 Sierra Juliet, uh, 7 miles from Rossi, cross Rossi inbound at or above 3,000. Cleared our Navarro 7 approach to Auburn Airport. 3 Sierra Juliet, Rossi at or above 3,000, cleared for the runway 7 approach offer. And over 3 Sierra Juliet, you have the phone number if you need to cancel on the ground. It'll be a phone call today. I have the number. 3 Sierra Juliet. 3 Sierra Juliet, right. So we're finally looking to see the front window. We're a little bit just under it. All right, 25 seconds to Rossi. Good morning, Ming Medivac, Cal Star Med 70 is 1,300 for And we're turning on. Medivac, Cal Star Med 70, North Cal Approach. Uh, I didn't. Three minutes to Sitzkew. Keep reducing power. Only go three Sierra Juliet. Don't forget to cancel IFR when you can. Change to advisor frequency approved. Okay, you're not going to give me 25.43, Sierra Juliet? You're doing the whole thing? Affirmative. I already cleared you. Thank you for uh, checking that. All right, 22.7, and we're keeping, uh, we're calling on the phone. Three Sierra Juliet. Going advisory. Stop, okay, that was odd, that fast. All right, we got two and a half minutes to go. So here's the runway, 070, and here's the wind, like this, 160. So we're going to get a crosswind from the right. we we'll have to drop the right wing. Armor Trapper Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Julia is uh, 15 miles west on the approach for runway 7 full stop, Armor. We're not going to put a gear down until we get to Yadfi. We're going to turn inbound here to Siskiyou shortly. We're at 3,000. What are they reporting? Zulu, wind 150 at 8 knots. Visibility 5 missed. Sky condition scattered at 800. Broken at 1,500. Broken at 4,400. Temperature 1, 0 Celsius, 2.9er Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9er, 9er, 6. Okay. That's what we got. We're still in the stuff. All right. We're going to do undercarriage mixture prop speed when we get inbound. One minute to Sitzkew. We're going to turn before that. We're still doing 148 across the ground. And then you can see the 22 knots at our tail is going to be speeding us up on the approach. Get rid of the activate vectors of final on inbound and arm the approach. Okay, let's activate vectors to final. Activate vectors to final check and arm the approach. All right, we got the diamond up here for the glide slope, and we're at 125 indicated, 130. Armor Trapper Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet, it's 10 to the west on the approach for runway 7, full stop, Armor. Yet be in a minute and a half. All right, 26 seconds to Yatfi. Down comes the gear, first notch of flaps. Okay, gas undercarriage mixtures up.
spots where we want them. And we're going to write it in. You can see we're 10 degrees corrected because of the wind. All right, we're at Yadfi. We've got the glide slope. So we're not going to cancel IFR prematurely because if we have to go around and get in the end of the soup, then if you cancel IFR, you could have VFR traffic in the way, so we're not doing that. Um, Nancy, point to where you think the runway is. Yeah, you think it's to the right. It's there because of the wind coming from the right. We're crabbed in like this. Okay. Can you see it there? To the left? Yes. All right. I'm Trevor Golden Eagle 513 Joint 5 Mile Final Runway 7 on the approach. Full stop, Auburn. Okay, so we're uh, riding in. We've got the glide slope, localizer glide slope, on course glide slope, crab like crazy, 0, 6, 8, so we're crab lucky 13 degrees. Airport in sight, but I know if we go around, we're going to get into stuff, so we can't cancel IFR. All right, got the power setting where I want it. Our speed's a little bit fast, but okay. 2,000 on the altitude, 1848. Autopilot's off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put down full flaps at minimums. Minimums. There we minimums. go. I'm going to reduce a little bit more power. All right, now i got to get center line. Drop the right wing, put the left rudder in. Three green. Center line. from the wind. Okay, power back. Brakes on. Excellent. Thank you. Ugh. This wasn't supposed to hit till noon. As I mentioned earlier, here's the front window at warp speed. Engine increase to warp 9. Defense fields. I mean, you weren't concerned, were you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I saw the slop we went through, we did that yesterday. Slop, Jesus. Huh? All right, field pumps off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Auburn. Mm. Our traffic, Golden Eagle, 513 Sierra Juliet. Clear, runway seven, going to park at Auburn. Okay, uh, thanks for riding along. <laughs> God. I am the beginning, the end, the one who is many.